Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you are new and if you are, definitely hit that subscribe button and if you are already subscribed, make sure your post notifications are turned on so you can get notified for every video I post. Today I'm sharing how much money I've made on YouTube in 2020. I actually have not yet looked at my analytics for the whole year yet, so you'll be able to see my reaction. I mean, obviously I see every month how much I get paid, but it'll be interesting to see it as an overview. So today we're going to kind of go into a deep dive of my analytics, my CPMs, all of my revenue and everything like that. I've actually been wanting to do this video for a really long time. I've seen Shelby Church do it and Natalie Barbu and I'll link their videos down below. I think they just did um, videos for 2020, but they are big on, you know, financial transparency. I personally think it's really cool that they share the information because I'm obviously trying to grow my channel and, you know, I kind of want to know, oh, like if I do get this many subscribers, what would that look like? And let me preface by saying the subscribers don't really equate to how much money you're making. There's honestly so many factors that go into what you are making on YouTube from AdSense, but let's just get into the video because we have a lot to go over. I just opened up Creator Studio where you can see all of our analytics, so obviously the overview, reach, engagement, audience, and revenue. I'm filming this video on December 28th, so it's gonna be a couple days off, but not that much off, so I thought I would just go ahead and film it. We're gonna go month to month and talk about my estimated revenue and some other analytics, but before we do that, I want you guys to guess in the comments down below what you think I made as my yearly total estimated revenue. I'm so curious to see if it'll be a lot lower or a lot higher than it actually is. So don't skip ahead. I truly want to see what you guys think. So comment that down below and let's get started with January. The first month of the year, I made $198.58. In February, I made $284.58. And 67 cents and both of these months were around ten dollars for my CPM and if you guys don't know what that is it's basically like your cost per thousand views going into March I earned two hundred and sixty four dollars and sixty one cents so it went down a little bit there um, April it went down a little bit more I earned two hundred and one dollars and ninety one cents then in May I earned three hundred nine dollars and seventy cents in June, it went down a little. I earned $286.55. In July, I earned $766.26. So I wanna say in July, I posted my Austin, Texas apartment tour, which was probably my most viewed video in the whole year. I'm definitely gonna look at that and let you guys know. So I think that's the reason for the almost $500 difference. In August, I earned $466.55. In September, I earned $428.88, so it went down a little. Um, I guess it's going back down because in October, I earned $398.09. And then it went back up in November. I earned $461.75. And then in December, I earned $515.45. In December, I was posting pretty much every single day because of Vlogmas. So I wonder if that was the reason for that increase over there. Now I wanna go a little more in depth with the analytics. So we'll go to CPM first. And I've watched a lot of these videos and some people said that at the you know peak of quarantine you know march kind of like in the summer ish their cpm decreased significantly and i kind of see that because in february it was ten dollars and 48 cents then march it was actually eleven dollars um, and then in April, it went down all the way to $7.35. And then it went back up to $9 until August, where it was $10. Um, September was $12, October 13, November 14, and then December 15. So it kind of just did a little dip in the middle of the year. I'm looking at the views now, and it's kind of interesting because as you can see in August, I made $466 and had 95,000 views, which is a freak ton for me. And then you go down here where I made 515 in December, but only had 69,000 views. And that's because the CPM was 
$15 in December compared to only $10 in August. You can't really control the CPM, but what helps to increase your CPM is the niche that you're in on YouTube. I've heard finance videos do really well, um, videos about Amazon drop shipping. Those are just some of the topics that come to my head that have really high CPMs. But if you don't like finance or, you know, Amazon drop shipping isn't a topic that's on your channel, then I would say you really can't control it because obviously you wanna make content about what you wanna make content about, if that makes sense. For the total estimated revenue for 2020, it says that I made $4,591.48. It'll be really interesting to see if your guesses were remotely close to this number. Right now, I wanna take a look at last year and see how much I made in 2019. Okay, so I made $2,040.85, so I, freaking doubled more than doubled my revenue on youtube this year which is insane because i feel like especially with you know the whole covid 19 thing a lot of people's revenue maybe didn't decrease too much but it definitely decreased from last year i will say that i gained a lot of subscribers from my apartment tour video i feel like that video just carried me through the whole year um i think i gained this year 6406 subscribers which i feel like is not that many but maybe maybe it's good for a whole year um let's see how many subscribers i gained last year let's see Okay, last year I only gained 2,000 subscribers, so that's actually very interesting. Now we're gonna take a look at some of my most popular videos of the year. So of course, coming in first is what $1,800 will get you an Austin, Texas apartment tour. This video in particular got 111,000 views, and I'm actually interested to see what this video alone made me in revenue for this year. This video only made me $587 with a $10 CPM. So I feel like I definitely thought that was gonna be a lot higher. And then next, my number two video is going to a nude spa. And the only reason it's viewed so much, like I hate to say this, but I'll be honest, it's probably really creepy men. I get really angry comments on that video a lot being like, oh my God, you scammed us because I didn't show them nude people. Like what? Like I'm not gonna show nude people in my freaking video. Do you know what clickbait is? <laughs> this video was posted in 2016. Are you kidding me? And it's my second most viewed video in 2020. That's actually crazy. My third most popular video was I got my dream white sectional couch, what I really think about Wayfair. That one came in at 71,000 views. And this video, I linked my couch and similar couches. I used reward style to create this link from Wayfair and it gave me commission off of every couch that was purchased through my link. This video was posted in 2019. It made me $766 just from the AdSense from YouTube, but I actually probably made maybe over two thousand dollars in commission from my couch link so that is freaking crazy and if you guys are interested to learn more about affiliate marketing and just more about the reward style platform i'd be super down to do that video so let me know if you guys want to see it before i end this video i wanted to give you guys a couple of tips that can help you increase your revenue and possibly double it like i doubled mine in the year 2021 feel free to follow along with my youtube screen so i am going to go into my most viewed video that I had in 2020, which was my apartment tour. And I'm gonna go to the monetization tab. First of all, you always wanna make sure that monetization is on because if you're using copyright in music, it could be ineligible. And even when you are signed up for these platforms like Epidemic Sounds or um, Envato Elements, which is what I use, I get flagged all the time for copyright in music. And then I have to input like the license that comes with the download of the song, which is definitely an inconvenience because I have to like dispute it and then it takes a little bit of time to like you know have the green sign but it's an escrow i guess they just need time to verify the license so for type of ads we're going to check all of them because let's say if you only checked sponsored cards maybe this one advertiser could have been an ad on your video but they didn't have a sponsored cards ad so then you miss out on their money at the bottom it says location of video ads you're going to check all of these because you know obviously there's usually an ad before a video i feel like for every youtube video and then definitely put it after the video because 
you know, somebody might be doing the dishes while they're watching your YouTube video and can't like skip it. So you never know if they're just like busy doing other stuff and that can make you money. Most importantly, we want to click manage mid roles. So we're gonna go in here and see how many ads I have because I was actually really curious about this. So I only have two ads for a 15 minute video, which I'm seeing nowadays that people are putting three ads in a 10 minute video. They're like doing every three minutes or so. I'm honestly not sure how I feel about that just yet. I might start doing it just to see if I could double my revenue. You do want to be careful about putting ads too early on in the videos because you want your watch time to be very, very long, like five minutes or even more. That would be amazing. Um, that means people aren't clicking off of your video. So obviously if they see an ad like one minute or two minutes in, they're probably going to be less likely to have watched your video for longer. But I'm really interested to see if I put a third ad in this video, will it make me even more money because it is my most viewed video. You have the option to place the ads automatically, which I don't recommend because I strategically put them in places where I, let's say, oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you guys something that I would place an ad and then continue what I forgot to tell you guys so that you would be more inclined to watch the ad all the way through and then continue watching my video. So that is my biggest hack when it comes to placing your ads. Another tip I have for y'all to make more money in 2021 on YouTube is to be creating evergreen content, which means less vlogs and more sit down videos like this one, because people are searching for this title. People are searching for what I eat in a day, which I guess that is more of a vlog type video. Or going back to my most viewed video, people are searching for apartment tours in Austin in Texas. So doing these types of videos that you know people are searching for will get you those views and get you that money. Um, so I think in 2021, I definitely want to create more evergreen content. I'll definitely still be vlogging, but I want to make a lot of the titles, you know, searchable because I feel like my vlog titles are not and they definitely could be better. So that is something that I'm gonna work on in 2021. The last tip I have for y'all is about watch time. So first of all, watch time is very important because YouTube wants to keep their viewers on YouTube. They don't want them to go to another site and get bored or log off of YouTube. So they actually favor videos with a higher watch time and they will put your video, if people are watching it for five minutes or longer or let's say even four minutes or longer, they'll put it in the suggested bars and I think that's why this apartment tour got so many views because it was popping up in everyone's suggested bar so I thought that was really interesting you can actually see where people click out so I pulled up this analytics screen that has the number of days that it's been on YouTube and what the watch time is in the first nine days the first 11 days the first 20 days the first 40 days this specific video had an average watch time of four minutes and 14 seconds something that might increase your view duration would be previewing a clip that's super juicy or just telling people what they're gonna get out of this video. Um, I feel like people will stay on a lot longer to hear about that juicy moment or hear about you know, how you can make more money on YouTube in 2021. So definitely keep that in mind when you're creating and editing your content. That wraps up this video sharing how much money I made in 2021. I wanna hear from you in the comments. Did you guys think I was making more on YouTube AdSense or were you kind of shocked when you heard that number? Also, let me know if you guys are interested in videos like this. Do you guys wanna see more financial videos on the business side of things? Do you wanna see a video all about affiliate marketing? Let me know and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see all of the content that I'll be pumping out in 2021. If you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, go follow me there. It's so underscore gnarly without the G. I'm definitely trying to grow my Instagram in 2021. It's been a struggle, but we are going to do it this year. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.